Hi everybody, happy Thursday. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com and coming at you with another break of 2021 Topps Museum Collection Baseball. Six box, half case, pick your team number nine. Big thanks everybody right here for getting in on the action. There's Harry with that last spot mojo, Angels. So he's closed out the break. Thanks everybody who helped fill this up. I appreciate it. Break nine is from a fresh case. So let's see which half we're going to do. All right, so there's six boxes on the left side, six boxes on the right side. We're going to select a die. We're going to select that one right there. And we'll go one, two, three for the left side and four, five, six for the right side. Six, right side. This side we will save for break number 10, which is already on jazbeescasebreaks.com and only has, we're halfway there, about 16 teams left. So I know the black on black is kind of hard to see, but see right there that'll be for break 10 which we should be able to do tonight all right thanks again everyone for making this happen we're looking for four hits per master box Supposed to have a Red Sox Yankees game tonight, but unfortunately, some some COVID protocol issues have postponed that game. But we do have a little bit of news that I think Jens first told us. Jock Peterson acquired by the Braves for first base prospect Bryce Ball. Yeah. The Ronald Acuna ACL injury definitely, I think, maybe forced the Braves' hand a little bit. Jock's got some nice little pop. So that could give them... He can be pretty clutch, too. So that's probably probably just what... Just what the uh, Braves need. Pretty, pretty decent defensively too, so I think that, that should help as well. Is this the frame already? Yeah, we got the frame already. And an extra hit? I see a thick card and the frame? What's happening there? And a book! What a box! here. All right. 70 out of 99 each row. Yeah, I think it I think COVID issues I think maybe on the Yankees side is what it was, Michael, for the uh, for the game being postponed, not weather. All right, Xander Bogarts, one out of fifty. Sub Rex. I'm sure, Rex has heard the news already as well. That's for the Red Sox, Michael P. Behind Pete Alonzo is silver ink autograph for the Phillies. Crucky, John Cruck. 153 out of 300. That's for Howard and the Phillies. This has the 
I guess we'll do the card on the bottom first. It's a quad relic, Nolan Arenado, to 99. That is the X line and the Cardinals. Well, you, you did not see the news? Jock Peterson was traded to the Braves for uh, first base prospect Bryce Ball. All right, the frame is an autograph, and it's a nice one, Fernando Tatis Jr. Seven out of 15. Silver ink autograph in the silver frame. That's Josh Exline with the San Diego Padres. Nice. And now the book behind Tatis Jr. It's Momentous Material Dual Jumbo Patch Autograph Relic Book Card. And it's Paul Canerco and Frank Thomas. Wow. That's a one of one. Woo! So you got the Majestic Patch and Canerco's autograph. You got another nice patch here. And the Big Hurts autograph. Trust me, she'll like it too. That's awesome. That's Howard with the Chicago White Sox. Howard, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! What a hit. Need a little slider box for this. There we go. We'll draw it. Well, I, th I think Rex Jock is kind of doing exactly what he, he does. <laughs> I don't think they're trading him because of that. Because I think, he, I think the numbers that he's putting up is exactly what you expected from Jock Peterson. Which is what I told you you should expect from Jock Peterson. But then, every, but then he had a great spring and all these Cubs fans got their hopes sky high on what Jock Peterson can be. I want to say it's more of a more of a Braves needed to needed some kind of you know, needed a player after after Ronald Acuña went down and Cubs are rebuilding, so they're moving those assets. Yeah, Jock Peterson has has what double digit home runs already? It's a decent amount of home runs. Was, he probably would have ended up with I don't know thirty or so by the end of the season at Wrigley. Maybe not thirty, twenty five. All right, box two. I actually didn't really know why the Cubs actually even went for Jock Peterson in the first place as a free agent. I think it was only on a one-year deal or something like that. Shane Bieber to 250. That guy's next. Might get traded. 
There's a Kershaw canvas reproduction. And the relic is Salvador Perez, 7 out of 25. The first catcher since like Joe Maurer in the early 2000s to be in the home run derby and actually had a pretty decent showing too. Chad O oh with the Royals. We've got another Royal, Cool Whit Merrifield, 193 out of 300. Silver ink autograph for Chad O oh and the Royals. There's Trey Turner, 33 out of 99, quad relic. Is he a joke stealer, Rex? Is that why you're saying that Saying that line? I don't know who Gabriel Iglesias is. I know who uh, Enrique Iglesias is. Nice Trey Turner, quad relic for Jens and the Nationals. And... Harry was saying, last spot mojo, come on. Which is, I think, a little early, two boxes in. But here's a David Fletcher anyway, dual relic and autograph. Going to last spot mojo, Harry and the Angels. And he's, David Fletcher's on like a, it's a 349. He's on like a 20 some odd game hitting streak. Speaking of the Angels, the Angels signed uh, Adam Eaton. Oh, Trout or Bust. All right. Well, hey, he's on the box. Did Sean Jaspi pull any Trouts last night? Oh, by the way, I'm just looking at MLBTradeRumors.com. I don't know when this news was, but Red Sox expected to promote Jaron Duran. So I guess start dusting off your uh, Jaron Duran rookie cards. Or uh, Bowman cards. Cole Hamels to showcase for interested teams on July 16th. Tiger J saying no Trouts last night. All right, so maybe we're due. He's on the box. You know, Rex, I was just gonna say that I was I was just gonna say if if you said Carlos Mencia, I think that would have that, that joke would have played a, a lot better. You gotta you gotta fire some writers there, Rex, for feeding you bad lines. Harry saying Cole, Cole Hamels goes into your restaurant all the time. Does he still have it? He's showcasing for some teams. There's Devin Williams in 99 for the Brew Crew. And behind Jacob deGrom is Xander Bogarts, 5 out of 35. Michael with the Red Sox. Silver Ink Autograph, Ian Anderson, 26 out of 200. And these Silver Ink Archival Autographs look really sharp. Ian Anderson going to David and the Bravos. Oh, not since he was a Cub. It's just his wife and kids that come. Pete Alonzo. Some, some, uh, some markings on the jersey there. I'm not sure what that means. 20, uh, no, check that. 37 out of 99 for Gregory and the Metropolitans. Not sure what, what secret code is there. 
maybe some some Da Vinci Code style adventure could embark from here. And behind Brady Singer is Triple Relic and Autograph, Steven Strasberg. That is for Jens and the Nationals. I think Strasburg, the oft injured Strasburg, trying to make his way back. 43 out of 49. All right. Halfway through this half case break, second half in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. What other information do we have on MLBTradeRumors.com? Braves have no plans to trade Freddie Freeman, allegedly. White Sox acquire Davey Gruyon. Astros release Hector Velasquez. Chris Sale to begin rehab assignment. Mariners to recall Jared Kalanick. Sean D. is saying, Joe Maurer's daughter in the grade above your son's. We, you guys see him all the time. Still weird to see him as a normal person. I feel like Joe Maurer's career could have... Now, how, long, how long did he end up playing? He ended up playing for 15 seasons. I feel like they move, should have moved him to first a little bit earlier in his career. Maybe extended some of the productive years for his career a little bit. Christian Yelich to 150. And Bobby Dalbeck, 1 out of 50. And behind Jay Cronenworth, Nate Pearson, 21 out of 50. <laughs> Harry smelling some trout. You guys serve trout at your restaurant? It's the X line with Toronto. Behind Christian Pache is Silver Ink Autograph Anthony Rendon. I'm getting warmer. Five out of 25 Silver Ink Archival Autograph heading out to Harry. And the Angels, last spot mojo. Oh, they do serve some rainbow trout. Maybe that's what you're smelling. All right. Behind Stan the Man Musial is dual relic and autograph Monty Harrison. Piece of his lumber and his jersey going to Miami. Louis B. with the Marlins. Two fifty two out of three forty nine. All right, and we've got Jim Bunning, twelve out of twenty five. Primary pieces legends. Game use memorabilia in there as well. Phillies. Howard. Ooh, TJ smelling some uh, Mount White Castle burgers.
Let's see what we got. In the next box. Base cards. There's that's the bronze frame. There's the looking for some Mike Trout's maybe Correa's to 99 or that guy. Sam Huff to 150. Carlos Correa right there. <laughs> Easy, Harry. It's a family show. I don't want to have to explain to uh, the kids in the shop the next day about what that was about. Ask your parents. 19 out of 50, Jordan Alvarez. Piece of his jersey going to Andrew and the Strohs. We've got a Jose Altuve, 10 out of 60, silver ink autograph. <laughs> no worries, Harry. Uh, another Astro for Andrew. we got George Springer, 97 out of 99, quad relic for, uh, for Andrew. A lot of Astros here. Now we're going four for four on Astros. We had Astros Relic, Astros Autograph, Astros Quad Relic, and Astros? No, Tim Anderson, White Sox. 10 out of 50, dual relic, an autograph for Howard and the White Sox. No, I'm good, man. Thank you. All right. Final box. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. Second half is in the store. Fingers crossed. Get the Lucky's Rabbit's Foot. Get the Four Leaf Clover. Keep those fingers crossed. Cast some spells if you're into that sort of thing. If you are some sort of some sort of sorcerer, you know, a witch, a wizard, maybe do that. Pray to the breaking gods, whatever god you may pray to. And good luck. Any guesses on this redemption for bragging rights? Harry's going to pray to the powers of, of Zach Wheeler. What a season Zach Wheeler's been having, right? Zach Wheeler and Aaron Nola. Did I 
Jeff Wheeler pretty good. I just didn't expect him to, to have the kind of season he's been having this year. Is he's healthy? Maybe health is a big thing. There's Ian Anderson to 150. I feel like he was never healthy in New York. Maybe that's what it was. Logan, what's up? Yeah, that next museum collection break is getting pretty close on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Logan's guessing Walker Bueller. All right, behind the Mookie Betts canvas collection reproduction is another blue team, Brady Singer. 17 out of 25. Behind Carlos Correa is Paul DeYoung, 38 out of 75, quad relic. Behind Juan Soto is dual relic and autograph, Matt Olson, Michael P. and the A's. And the redemption behind Robin Yount. Congratulations. You, someone, is due to receive an archival autograph. No parallel of. So we'll see the uh, city name as well as the player name, which I'm glad Tops has started to do. Panini should start doing that too. Put the city names on there. N, New York, New Hampshire. New and G. Glaber Day? It's looking like Glaber Torres. It's New York Glaber Torres for the Yankees. And that'll be for Michael and the New York Yankees. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was 2020. Uh, sorry, check that. 2021. Tops Museum Collection Baseball, six box, half case, pick your team number nine. The uh, break 10, let me just look at the page really quick. Break 10 is down to 11. 11 teams left in the next one. We're pretty close to single digits on that and then close to Breaksville. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And we'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.